Hola, hola, mis amores. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so we're going to get into a quick little reading uh, to see what is uh, coming up for you and your love interest. Let's get the inside scoop. Just whatever wants to come out, all right? So I'm going to get into my love and lust oracle deck, all right? Okay, Spirit, so what, is, what message do you have for my Fuego fam? Oh, oh, dang. Bound chicka 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 wah, wah. let me adjust my light really quick um somebody's ready they're ready they're ready for you you're ready for them someone is just fucking ready okay so here it says oh my god i cannot fix this freaking light it's getting on my nerves okay anyway so um, first card, it says the beast is loaded and ready to release the burden. Like what? What? So, um, yeah, your person is feeling it. They are all that buildup that they have, you know, the built up, the pent up frustration. They're just locked and loaded and ready to freaking go. All right. And you, on the other hand, it says the thought of you does things to me. The visions I get in my head turns me on. I have to touch myself, heart racing, lip biting pulsations as the thought of us making love <laughs> consumes me into ecstasy. Yo, no wonder why they're locked and loaded and ready to go. Girl, what is you doing? You got all kinds of uh, freaky messages here. So that's interesting. We're going to leave that as is for that. Um... Let's go ahead and get some tarot messages. So I'm going to get into my Opium Twin Flame Tarot. All right, let's get some. Bam. Let's get some, baby. What do we have here besides the freaky deaky energy? All right, we got temperance. Oh, yeah, somebody is ready to restore what was once lost. This is about making it work again. You know, you guys were very patient. Maybe you guys had, maybe it's been a very long time since you guys been together. And now it's like, it's time for you guys to reunite and come into union. They're craving you, you're craving them. All right. So we also have, oh, these two cards came out together. The devil and attention is somewhere else. So it could have been that perhaps they were involved with somebody else and somebody else got involved with them or somebody else got involved with you and that really set you guys back i'm picking up karmic energy so their attention could have been towards karmic energy they learned some very valuable lessons because this person was very over controlling they um they were just very toxic and not good for them and so all that frustration all that energy those lessons learned i feel like they're ready to make amends and come together with you, all right? So if they could express anything from their heart, what could what will it be? I'm gonna use my expressions of the heart deck. I cut my nails down because I stabbed myself. <laughs> I fucking stabbed myself in the shower, all right? I was like fucking scrubbing my leg and bam! And you know how long and sharp my shit was. Like I cut my own damn self. So I was like, I'm gonna cut your ass down. <laughs> Anyways, all right, the two messages we have here it says we both need clarity inst instead of assumptions. All right, so maybe you didn't understand certain things about, you know, the connection, why it swayed in a, in a whole nother fucking direction, why you went fucking south or whatever. And it's like made assumptions about them. They made assumptions about you. It's like, y'all just need to sit down and have that heart to heart conversation and, you know, get the clarity that you guys both desire and uh, long for okay and then here it says would you dance with me in my darkness oh in other words um this person wants you to know look are you willing to dance with me while i'm going through the dark night of the soul will you dance with me in my shadow and in, in my imperfections are you willing to ride or die with me in the moments that i'm not doing so well it's not that i want you when i'm only good i also want you in my troubled times as well so that's fucking deep let's get one more thank you okay so it says i felt um i felt like a failure my entire life so i stopped caring to win i didn't have anyone to motivate me so your person could have been you know i almost said public eye so maybe they're in the public eye 
maybe they have a, that type of career that could be a little risky where they, you know, if they don't make it, they don't make it. They'll feel like a loser or a failure. Maybe too many people expected things from them. And, you know, they have accomplished many things, but they just feel like it's not enough or they feel like at their age, they're not where they want to be right now. So they just stop caring to win. You know, they didn't they didn't have anybody to motivate them anymore. They, the motivation was not there anymore, especially if they were fucking around with karmics. They were just toxic and swaying them in unhealthy, you know, directions. So that's um, that's pretty that's pretty fucking sad if you think about it. You know what I mean? All right, let's get into the uh, the Norman deck. Let's see. We have this ship card. This is travel, journey, and move. Somebody could be moving closer to you. Maybe you're moving closer to them. Maybe you guys are going to converse about moving in together. Or you're, when you guys reconcile, there could be some type of commute or distance between you guys where um, maybe you're going to plan a trip to see each other or maybe even go travel together. We have the stars card here. This is strength, power, wealth, boss, and resources. You, on the other hand, are, do, are doing really well for yourself, uh, feminines. They see you in the spotlight. Okay, you could be in the spotlight. Or if not, they're just, they kept the hope and the wish to have you still alive. Um, you could be doing your own thing right now, being a boss-ass bitch, you know. You have a, a, a lot of great things coming for yourself because during the time of separation, you did something for yourself. You made shit happen. You know what I mean? And they see that. You, your success or anything like that, it does not go unnoticed. All right. So this person wants you to know they're very, very proud of you. All right. So let's go ahead and get uno mas. All right. So we have the fox. And um, this is intelligence, cleverness, cunning, and hard work. All right. So they see that you, like I said, you're very... I feel like you're very sly and sneaky with the way you run things, the way you do things. Like you like to sneak in. Uh, I don't know. It's like wittiness. I'm picking up wittiness. Like you're very witty. But I also feel like they're going to come in with a sly and sneaky approach, not a deceptive one or anything. They also been watching you like a little creepy fox, a little sneaky fox. Um, you could have a lot of power because you you know you have a lot of people that love and respect you, especially if you're in the public eye or anything like that. Okay, you do have some type of power over this person emotionally and mentally, and they do too to you. But you you're shh, you're not gonna say that right. <laughs> uh, bottom of the deck we have house, home, family, residence. So that's funny that this is here because with the ship card. Like I said, y'all might even move in together or, you you know, you might find out they're moving closer to you or vice versa. All right. So let's go ahead and um, let's get a message from my erotica deck. All right. Let's see. Just to see. I'm curious. Just to see what comes through. Damn. Okay. All right. That's cool. So we have I woke up craving you. Feminines. I mean, how often does this fucking shit happen? Right desires, waking up, feeling that person's energy to a point where it just makes you sit there in bed, staring at the ceiling or whatever, like being alone with your thoughts and just the feeling that you're getting when, you know, when you're, you're talking to them and flirting with them and you're feeling their energy so intensely, like if they were right there, even if time has passed by, uh, maybe you had curtain dreams about this person where it made you wake up craving them, even with your morning coffee, like, oh my God, you're sitting there thinking about this person or even spying on them when you're having your morning coffee. <laughs> Come on now, mamacita, you know, you'll be doing that shit, right? Let's get one more. Thank you. We have mistress, a uh, lover of a married man. Ooh, maybe you were this person's mistress or the roles could be reversed. Maybe they were your mistress, you know, your secret lover and you were the married one. But whatever the case was, like this person is, they've been craving you. They're locked and they're ready to go. Oh, they are ready when you are, baby, ready when you are. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some messages from my amorous hunger oracle to see what comes through and then we're going to wrap it up okay hope you guys are having a great wonderful relaxing weekend you know what i mean um make good choices no matter what here we have come lift me up and make me happy again oh my god i love this shit you see 
this is connected to temperance it's like listen this person you're like pretty much open to this person returning you know you you want them to so you're like look come you know come on over and lift me up make me happy again like you used to be you know when we were when we were once upon a time oh my god once upon a time let's get another one Maybe this person has a thing where they lift you up. Yeah, oh my God, I just said that. Look, two cards already of the man lifting up the woman. Like they're just fucking picking you up. Ooh, I love that shit. It says, um, choose me and I'll choose you. Oh, <gasps> you see, I'm telling you somebody was taken. Somebody was a mistress. Maybe you were each other's fucking mistress, right? It's like, look, choose me and I'll choose you. You jump and I jump. I love that shit. Ooh, sex scene. I've been craving you so much lately. Oh my God, dude. See, I woke up craving you and then I've been craving you so much lately. You can't make this shit up, folks. <laughs> that means they've been doing that too. Like they've been craving you, desiring you, wanting to reconcile. That's why they're locked and ready to go. This is why, you know, the thoughts of them doing things to you does things to you in return. So <laughs> I freaking love it. All right, my amores, amores, my fuego bitches. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I am booking personal readings for next week. You guys know I don't do any work on the weekends. It's my time, boo-boo. So I'm going to catch up on The Walking Dead and order some Grubhub and just fucking chill lax. All right? I love you guys so much. Bye.